There's no traffic in between you and Hillsborough now. Um, Century and Trigger Quebec. Registered and distributed. And it's quite beautiful. Thank you for frequency. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Portland Hillsboro is a busy general aviation airport located 15 miles west of the larger Portland International in Hillsboro, Oregon. There is extensive flight training at the airport, a large number of based aircraft, and business and corporate aviation services that utilize the airport. The mix of pilot experience and aircraft capabilities makes HIO an interesting and challenging environment. The airport configuration consists of parallel runways 13 left and right and 31 left and right and runway 220. Runway 220 intersects runway 13 right 31 left. Extra attention needs to be paid to runway assignment when arriving and when taxiing at Hillsboro, as the combination of runway numbers, such as 13, 31, and 220, sometimes confuses pilots. The system of taxiways provides access to all businesses, hangars, and ramp areas located around the airport. As with any airport with parallel runways and staggered thresholds, the opportunity for wrong surface landings exists at Portland Hillsboro. The addition of a full-length parallel taxiway adds to this potential problem. When landing to the north, pilots should be aware that the approach end of runway 31 right is several thousand feet farther north than the approach end of runway 31 left and is not as obvious as the main runway. Additionally, don't confuse the parallel taxiway for a runway. Pilots also need to be aware that they may be assigned any of these runways and need to be sure they have the correct runway in sight. One hot spot is located near the approach end of runway 31 left and taxiway Alpha 8. Taxiway Alpha 8 is the primary location for light GA aircraft to depart that runway. The problem occurs when aircraft departing the run-up area for runway 31 left cross the hold short line and enter the runway safety area, conflicting with arriving or departing aircraft. Pilots should also be aware that there may be other aircraft entering the runway from Alpha 9 and other connecting taxiways. This also occurs when aircraft are taxiing southbound on Alpha and turn onto Alpha 8. Wigwag lights have recently been added to this location to assist pilots in identifying the hold short line. Pilots need to remember, you must have the appropriate clearance to taxi onto any runway. Keep in mind that this rule applies to aircraft landing on runway 31 left. Runway 220 is not a taxiway and should not be used to exit the runway unless specifically instructed to do so by the tower. After landing and clearing any runway, you are not clear of the runway until your aircraft is fully across the hold short line. Stopping before you are completely across this line makes the runway unusable for aircraft arriving or departing. Another issue at Portland Hillsboro concerns aircraft taxiing southbound on Alpha and instructed to hold short of runway 220. The hold short line is located immediately after crossing Taxiway Charlie and seems to be confusing for some pilots. This situation also occurs with aircraft taxiing on Taxiway Charlie and turning onto Taxiway Alpha. Crossing the hold short line results in a runway incursion. Attention outside the aircraft while taxiing, including scanning for taxiway markings and above ground signage, will help pilots avoid this mistake. Another area for increased attention concerns aircraft taxiing from the Northeast T hangars. Aircraft instructed to taxi via Bravo have sometimes missed the turn onto taxiway Bravo and entered onto runway 220 without clearance. Complete understanding of your assigned taxi route 
including turns and hold short instructions prior to beginning taxi, will go a long way to preventing this mistake. One word of caution. Anytime there are runway and taxiway intersections in close proximity to each other, there is the opportunity for confusion. This situation is found at HIO near the intersections of runway 31 left, runway 220, and taxiways Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Pilots should be aware that aircraft arriving from the north and landing runway 31 left are often instructed to enter a right downwind and maintain at or above 1,700 until turning final to separate them from traffic in the pattern for runway 31 right at 1,200. Likewise, aircraft departing runway 31 left are told to fly straight out until reaching 1,700. If you are ever in doubt or unsure of your instructions or clearance, ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hot spots and other configuration challenges at HIO will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Portland Hillsboro Airport. It's always better to know before you go.